Hi guys, today we're going to show you some of the oil filter wrenches which you can use with your Toyota RAV4 and uh, we'll also show you which one we consider to be the best. Right here we have a couple of flute and cap wrenches. Uh, this one is uh, uh, the pliers style, adjustable uh, filter wrench. And right here we have the jaw style, two different types uh, of the uh, wrenches as well. Among all these we can see that this range to be the best and I'll show you why. Uh, this one uses 3 8 inch drive, we'll be using this uh, Craftsman flexible head uh, ratchet. And I'll actually start with this uh, regular Toyota oil filter. This one is cut, so uh, same as this one because we did a comparison video before, I'll leave you guys a link uh, in the description as well. The way this one works is, uh, once you put it on top of the filter, it grabs it uh, in, uh, in four different uh, points. So two points on top and two on the bottom. And this allows for the filter to not slip at all. So this will work perfectly in case if uh, the filter was over tightened during the service or Sometimes when they, the vehicle comes from the factory, they're very tight as well. And from our experience, we've used it many times, it works every time. Um, to remove it, simply unscrew it, it, it comes off right away. Uh, in case of this TRD filter, this has this end on the top. Uh, guess what? It's not a problem for this uh, range. It still have enough room to grab it and once you start unscrewing it it's not going anywhere and uh, I'll try it with, uh, with the frame one this one actually fits Acura RSX but we are using it as the example in this case same idea simply put it on top and it grabs it right away and now we'll see how the rest of them uh, deal with our filters. Uh, well, this one is actually snap-on and this is actually larger size, so it won't work with uh, all these filters. We just show it as an example. Uh, this one is designed for all Toyotas and Lexus uh, filters and will actually also work. So I'll show you with our regular filter. This one simply goes on top like this and uh, can be used as well. Now, a little bit of a problem with this one, as you can see, there is some play in this case. And in case if this filter is very tight, it may start slipping and uh, you won't be able to... Uh, there is a possibility that you won't be able to unscrew it this way. Uh, in case of the TRD filter, this cap, because of this, actually won't go on top at all. So this one doesn't work. In case of our Acura filter, even though we have the uh, same amount of flutes, it just doesn't go on top at all. And again, as I said before, this one easily works with all of these without any issues. The next one is this adjustable pliers style filter range. Adjustable because it can be used for a couple of different sizes of uh, uh, filters, bigger ones and smaller ones. And again, in theory it should work, it uses these teeth to grab the filter, like this, this way. It will work if the filter is not too tight, but if it's tight, what will start happening is it will start slipping like this. And uh, there is also a good chance that it will start tearing the filter apart and you will have even more problems. Uh, the next one is the three jaw wrench. In theory it should work fine, but I'll show you how it actually works. In our case, uh, let's start with this guy. So again, as soon as you start removing the filter, these three jaws are supposed to grab it and uh, unscrew it but uh, it actually does slip a lot there, there is not enough uh, contact surface to properly do its job 
it doesn't work well enough as the one with two jaws that we showed before. Uh, that's how it works in this case, which almost doesn't. And uh, in this case, because of this end, it won't work at all, because these like arms are not long enough. To sum it up, we can see that, again, I want to point out that we can see the, this one to be the best. Uh, first of all, it has four points of contact. It grabs the filter and doesn't release, which will work uh, with very tight filters. It has this uh, huge contact area. Well, if you compare it to this one, for example, as you can see, it almost twice as much contact area. Similar to this one as well. Sorry, this one. And uh, besides that, it actually works in hard to reach areas, uh, which is the case in our RAV4. And uh, yeah, so if you guys like this one, we'll actually leave the link in the description. I will leave the links for other ones as well. This, this way you can compare the other wrenches. We also would like to add some more information. There are other oil uh, filter wrenches out there, which can be used in your garage in case if you have other vehicles. Well, first of all, this is the one that we were using. Our best option, as we said before, this is how it looks on the picture. And this one actually fits uh, uh, filters from two and a half inches to three and one eighths. Uh, this one is from Lyle. And uh, they also have a wider one. This one fits uh, filters from three and one eighths to three and seven eighths. And as you can see, it is wider. Uh, then we also have this type of filter range, which uses a nylon belt. This actually can be a good option as well, in case if you are looking for one. Uh, again, here we have the fluid and uh, cap range for Toyota, similar to one that we showed you guys before. This is also available at Lyle uh, website, and again, we will use the link for that one. And we have the three jaw filter range. Uh, this one is slightly different from the one that we showed you guys. Uh, as you can see, these, the jaws are slightly bent inwards, but uh, it still has the same issue of uh, short uh, jaws in this case. So this may not be the best option, but this, this one is from Lyle. And the last one that you'd like to show you guys, again, adjustable oil filter pliers, similar to the ones that we showed here. It may work in some cases, in some other it may not work. And look what they've done to the filter. They actually made four holes, so this way the oil can uh, drain. Uh, that's one trick that you can use. That's it for our comparison video. Thank you guys for watching. The links will be in the description and uh, we'll see you in the next video.